Hello everyone, my name is Furkan. In this video, I am going to talk about FTP server without using any storage unit. This is my program and there is a historical data in here. Let's see together. The address of the storage is a dollar thousand. Length is one sample number. Thousand and the active bit for recording is dollar twenty point zero and the sampling cycle is one second. <coughs> I am recording my data to the HMI. This is for the data historical buffer configuration. For the method that I'm using is written in the macro in here and it's called X history macro. It means we can record our historical buffer data into HMI. If we put in here zero, it means we can storage, uh, we can collect our data to the HMI. Then we have a file name and this is the most important part. We are using in here Let's see again, history buffer one. But there is a quick information and history buffer. If we put in here zero, it means all historical data will be exported into the HMI. And then there is a return value. It's, there is a condition in here dollar 10.0 and it's put it in here in the program let's download the program into the hmi we should change the ethernet connection automatic search And program is loading for this FTP. We will use file Zilla, and also I will show you my FTP configuration. This is the default path, and the root is HMI. You can see in here. Normally use USB, but this time we will use HMI. And it's okay. And file Zilla opened. Our HMI IP is written in here. And go back to the FTP connection account name HMI password one to do. Eight, and the port number is 21. Let's check again. This is our HMI IP and this is FTP name, password and the port is OK. And my program is loaded into HMI right now and i will quick connect i said okay as you can see in here there is no created data because we need to ftp right and let's open vnc viewer in here to make sure you see the One moment, and we can see we were in here the IP twenty. We can call name FTP. We need to activate the VNC 
Give and let's download again. Program is downloaded and let's connect. Don't for me one to the eight and the program is is here. First, I will make a file name a a a and then let's record some data in here and that's enough for me and i will make it ftp right but first if you let me we can make this here delay time to make sure you can uh, see the FTP right how it works and let's make download the program again and it's downloaded let's open VNC Weaver to do eight And it's okay. I'm making a value and the name. Okay. Before that, I will show you. Let's connect again. And there is no file in here still. I am activating the record. I'm putting some different values in here. And this time you can see FTP writing done. And I will refresh it and the Excel data for recording is in here. Let me I open the Excel file and the recorded data here. In the program you see there is a file name is a must warning in here <coughs> this is important because let's look at together and um, i am putting null in here entering and the hmi data i am deleted it and there is no file in here let's activate the record and put some values uh, we will FTP write again and writing is done. When we look at the path, you can see there is no data created because there is a there is no name in here. It's null. But if I put in here K for example and FTP write again, you will see the file is created in here. Let's open it again. K1 in here. I'm opening and the recorded data still in here. And let's make another example. Uh, we put the file in here and I am going to power off the HMI energy and then let's uh, power on it. And we will look at the data is still here or deleted. Let's, let's do it. I'm going to power off the HMI. And you will see the VNC Weaver passive and the connection is aborted. No connection in here. Let's make sure I will open FileZilla again and try to connect. And you make sure about the connection is dead. Or and there is no connection. Let's. I covered on the HMI energy. And the HMI is open right, right now. Let's put it. 21 and queen connect 
and the connection is done and you can see here the K1 is still in the memory of HMI and we can use it the FTP server without using USB disk thanks for watching see you later